Hello friends, 788 days of war and my channel is back again after two weeks of suspension but you never know when will it be banned again and maybe this time forever. YouTube management or its algorithm as they say may find some older video of mine a month or two months old which have so called violated its terms and conditions. Well, let us start for the day. As far as South is concerned, no significant changes in Zaporizhia as well as in Kharson Front. In Eastern Marinka Front, no Mikhailovka has finally fallen. Towards Krasnohorivka, Russian Army offensive operations is on and they have made a gains of 200 meters. Northwest of Pobeda too, they have advanced 200 meters, while Georgievka, that is west of Marinka, some minor advance. However, between Georgievka and Pobeda in the plains, Russians have advanced quite a lot. Coming to Ovdivka in northern part of it towards Novokalinovka, Russian army advanced 100 meters, and similar situation is in Novo Bakhmutivka. However, their offensive operations towards Okeretin did not succeed as Ukrainians repent the offensive operations. West of Avdivka, Netai, Luvo, no changes. However, towards Semyukovka, they made good gains and finally, this establishment is also taken over by the Russians and they also have captured Bodichi fully. In southern side, Nevelsky Russians made some gains in Burdichi, south of Bogdanivka, Russian army advanced almost 100 meters and they are attacking in many directions from here as if this is being used as hub center. Chasiuyar, severe offensive operations continuing by the Russians from the eastern side. No changes towards Ivanivsky or Krasnoy direction and nothing in southern flank. North of Soledar, Sivesk region. Vimki direction as well as Varkhani Kamensky fight is continuing, no changes. So is the situation in Belgorovka. In north towards Liman, the Russian army offensive operations from the east towards Rampolovka as well as in turn continuing, no changes towards Kupians and Swato direction. Interdiction missions Ukrainians launched close to 50 drones in Kaluga, Tula, Moscow regions. The damage is still not known while the Russians are continuing targeting Ukrainian positions deep inside Ukraine. Palestine, Israel, Middle East, IDF attacked in northern Gaza and Hamas too retaliated with rockets. Central IDF continuing shelling while in southern Gaza no changes. Operations in West Bakhmut continuing and also on the border of Lebanon. U.S. House of Representatives have passed a bill on confiscation of Russian assets in favor of Ukraine. And it was done yesterday, incidentally, which happens to be Hitler's birthday. In the meantime, a Russian journalist was killed by Ukrainian drones attack in Donbass. China has started a major reform to modernize and enhance its armed forces. The world is not going to be peaceful. In Africa, US African Command Chief has said that Russian Federation has taken over West in Sahel region. This statement came after US Niger talks on withdrawal of American 1000 troops from Niger broke down and they will be forced to remove. And similar situation has happened in Chad where they have ordered US troops to go away from their own country. This brings an end to my talk today, friends. Hope you find my channel again and able to see, comment as well. Even if this channel is blocked forever, do not worry. Main thing is the idea, a revolutionary idea, which and only which can liberate the humankind from capitalism, imperialism, war, destruction of climate, discrimination, exploitation 
and war among ourselves on various identities in name of nationalities and religion well they know end to talking so i will bring an end to it thank you friends